Let's take a look at whether pH3 is an ionic or covalent compound. So this is phosphorus trihydride. When we look for phosphorus on the periodic table, it's right here. It's a nonmetal. And hydrogen, even though it's over here with the metals, it's considered a nonmetal as well. So two nonmetals, we expect that this will be a covalent or also called a molecular compound. Let's look at the difference in electronegativity between phosphorus and hydrogen to see if that's the case. So here's phosphorus 2.19 and hydrogen 2.20. So the difference in electronegativity, 2.20 minus 2.19, that's 0 0.01. So barely any difference in the electronegativity between phosphorus and hydrogen. Let's see what that means. So below 0 0.4 is nonpolar covalent. So this 0 0.01, that's right out here. So pH three is gonna be a covalent compound. Do note that even though these bonds between the phosphorus and the hydrogen are nonpolar covalent, overall the whole molecule, the entire molecule, will have a slight dipole here. If you want to learn more about that, there's a link at the end of this video to help you do that. But in answer to our question, pH 3, it is a covalent compound. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.